All right, man. Antonio Brown is now coming for Tom Brady. He did an interview. Uh, I'm going to tell you exactly who it is right now. He did an interview with uh, this channel. I, I just found I seen it on Sports Center. They were uh, using a clip from this channel. It was on Sports Center uh, yesterday afternoon. And I'm trying to find the. Uh, the channel that it was on, but uh, hold on. Hmm. Let's see. It is the uh, full sin podcast, like full f u l l sin, like I sent some s e n d uh, podcast, all capital letters. He did like an hour interview. Um, he came through. This is the first public interview uh, that he did. And it's a lot of clips and maybe some more videos to come. If you didn't know today, the Chiefs are playing today. I think the Eagles are playing today on the ESPN platform. So, you know, he starts to um, – he got surgery, so he won't be playing again this season, okay? But then he started coming at the Tom Brady, okay? Uh they said Antonio Brown. Hold on, let me stop this real quick. This is probably, probably, probably about to play a video. I can't show you. Yep. So, and he get to talk about his money and why Tom Brady didn't fight for him like he fought for Brady. So Antonio Brown explains complicated relationship with Tom Brady. Brady can't do ish by himself, and that's true. You know, it says Tampa Bay, uh, former Tampa Bay receiver Antonio Brown still has a lot to get off his chest. About his time with the team, Brown added more to the side of the story during an appearance on the Full Set podcast. Brown covered multiple topics, including a sideline argument with Bruce Arian, frustration with his role. Brown also discussed his relationship with Tom Brady, which is more complicated than it publicly appeared. The most controversial uh, quote about the relationship involved Brown saying Brady can't do it without by himself. Brown made a comment after, a after asking who was the best player on the Buccaneers. Brown implied it was him, though he never directly said it when – one of the hosts said they were a huge Brady fan. Brown responded, quote, it's not about being a fan. It's about being a realistic human. Then that's what it's about. Quote, Brady can't do ish by self, which is true. Brown continued. But, continue, quote, you guys are going to make it seem like he just this were, he just this heroic guy. Uh, bro, we all humans, bro. We all dependent on somebody else to do a job. And he's right, bro. Nobody... You know, if you think about it too, if you let's say you work a job solo, bro. You know, let's say you, I don't know, you build dog houses, right? You still gotta have somebody to drop the material off at the house. You still gotta get the material from somebody else. So yeah, he's right. We can't do it all by itself. But you have to actually watch the context in which he spoke at spoke at this. Okay, you gotta actually like see he was like kind of like Divish, but then again, he's a receiver, bro, and um, and a lot of people get mad at him, bro, but maybe he just misunderstood, but he right, and then think about him applying that he was the best receiver, I mean, the best player, he said the receiver-wise, he did clarify, he did say, like, who's the best receiver, and obviously, historically, numbers-wise, talent-wise, is him, I like Mike Evans, but Mike Evans can't do what he can do, Chris Godwin is good, I think Gobble might be closer than Evan. He says, Brady, you know, I said that. That's the read. That quote reads extremely critical of Brady Brown. Likely didn't intend to completely throw the quarterback. He didn't throw the quarterback under the bus, in my opinion. I'm not going to read that. He said, Brown continued to discuss the relationship with Brady. He said the two were friends because Brown is a good football player. Brown did not clarify if that was good or bad. Things saying people define friendships different ways. Okay, so... So, like I said before, he said, and I'm going to go clarify this comment. He said that him and, okay, why is they showing this, bro? I don't understand why they keep popping up these videos, man. But, you know, but then he went on to say that, uh, as far as that comment, he said that uh, Brady likes him because, he studies hard. He said he knows to play at fourth down. He like I'm paraphrasing. He knows the hand signals. Uh, a B stays up all night to learn the playbook. He's he he hard. He's hard work. He's diligent and all that. And he says he basically he said 
in into this comment, I'm, I'm kind of saying what he said, paraphrasing a bit. He says that Brady respect him because he a hard worker and basically real, you know, real recognize real, you know, real recognize real and Brady recognized that. A B is a hard worker. A B care about this. A B that's kind of how he was talking, like in third person. But he right. He said he know to play on third down. He work hard. Blase blah blase this and you know he right. He probably right. He said he know to play. He said the reason it worked in in, in New England for as small as it did. He said it worked because he 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 was he was punctual. He worked hard. He fit in. You know what I'm saying? He did what he had to do. You know what I'm saying? He said he fit in. Remember, a lot of guys didn't fit in that system. And shout out to the guys that did, that were veterans in this league and did fit in, Corey Dillon and all the other guys. But, you know, he said, basically, I fit in there because I was punctual. I understood. I was militant. I knew exactly what my job was. I did my job. I did no more. I did no less. And honestly... And honestly, you got to respect it because he did. Chad Johnson couldn't fit, didn't fit there because Chad liked to improvise and do what Chad do. Being in the New England was all about being punctual, being on time, being where you're supposed to be at, being nowhere less, being nowhere more, being right there. And, you know, that's how I was supposed to be. It's militant, you know, and that's why it worked. But they basically said, you know, that's probably why they vibe together. It's hard not to believe what he's saying because did they have a relationship before that? Think about that for a minute. Did they have a relationship before that? You know, did they talk and kick it? No. Tom Brady was able to see. Tom Brady was able to, you know, to to say, damn, you you smart. You work hard. You know, you believe what I believe in. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can, this can work. I didn't know you worked this hard. I didn't know you was this a student of the game like this. So, you know, so that's what they vibed in. And remember, like Kwame Brown told Ben Simmons, like on his podcast or in his video, he said that when you all retired and said it done, most of these dudes you see in the locker room, y'all never going to talk and kick it again in the rest of life. So it's a business. But Antonio Brown questions why Ron Hossie has a better contract. Brown hinted that he and ha he had some animosity with Brady pointing out Ron Gronkowski, one of Brady's guys, received more money than Brown. Oh, if Tom Brady is my boy, why am I playing for an earnest, earnest salary? Brown asked. Quote, you my boy, though, right? Gronkowski is my is his boy, right? How much does he get paid? When the host responded, significant amount. Brown said, okay, so why is AB on a prove a deal? Okay, Brown, general manager, Buccaneers general manager Jason Lighty uh, determines player salary, not Brady. Brown, however, referred to Brady as the team's general manager. Okay, bro, they keep doing. I don't know why they keep on. Let me pause that and get that shit the fuck up off here. I watch y'all show all the time. Then they don't, they don't want to let you pause it. So, uh, so, I mean, like I said before, with that situation, it is what it is. Charge to the game. Him and Gronkowski got more rapport build up. Him and Gronkowski probably get along better on a personal level. You know what I'm saying? Gronkowski got more seniority in than him. Okay. You this nigga I just met. You know what I'm saying? You know, you ain't built that capital up with me. And then did you come to me and say, well, you know, I want more money. You know, you had to take the deal because you want to earn a deal because you a loose cannon. That's why. What you did in Pittsburgh, what you did in the Raiders, what you did with the Patriots, you a loose cannon. That's exactly what it is. You are a loose cannon. That's why you want to prove it to them. People like Antonio Brown who never see that they wrong, it's going to be, when they when he find out that he made some mistakes and he wrong, it's going to be way too late. People going to be saying, oh, we need to help Antonio, this, that, and the third. Antonio know exactly what he's going through. I don't care about that Burphy kid. You know how to get help. He know he get, he need help. If you can't see the clarity in a situation like this. Him and Gron Gronkowski came out of retirement to play with, 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 uh, with, uh, he came out of retirement to play with, uh, Brady. You know what I'm saying? He he's a consummate professional. He's a consummate professional, bro. You not why would we why would we tie up real money in you and look what you did. You prove us right. So Gronkowski on a one year eight million dollar contract. All right. Um. 
So he must be on a year-to-year basis. I don't know. So he has $2 million incentives, $500,000 each for 55 receptions and 750, 75, 750 yards and nine TDs, 65% regular season snaps plus a playoff berth to quarter million, 65% of the season snaps and Super Bowl win quarter million. So he got shit built up in his contract. He got he got a million, he got three million dollars in incentives tied up in his contract. You know, or two million altogether. My bad. It's just two million altogether tied up in his contract. You know what I'm saying? So Antonio Brown get mad. You only can get mad at yourself. You only can get mad at yourself, man. Because if you just if you would have did all this shit the right way, bro. You'll be swimming in way more money. Antonio Brown was on a was on a, a nine sixty sixteen thousand plus base salary, two million dollars signing bonus, three hundred seventy million plus dollars in in a roster bonus. So, like I said before, he threw money away, bro. He threw his shit away. And when you get to start, when you start pocket watching other people and other teammates, you know he got a big problem. Okay, so I mean that's what he said. You know, Brown joined the Buccaneers and wearing out his welcome, and you know, we already know that. Brown shared more light on the flat with Bruce Arians. Brown said he left the field after getting into an argument with Arians over integrity. Brown, who repeated, rigidly claims that the team knew about his injury, his ankle, his injured ankle before the game said was trying to remain healthy for the playoffs so the Bucs had the chance, best chance to win the championship. Brown also explained he felt betrayed by Arians, who had Brown's back off. He never had Joe back. He never wanted you there. So if you can you can't tell that. I don't know what to say. Imagine a guy who you think has your back, who flew here uh, uh, with to do, who flew, who you flew here with to do a mission, and they know your situation, and you get there and you're battling with them. When then he tells you because you can't go to war with him, he tells you to get the f out of here. Said Brown, "I'm an alpha male. If you discriminate on my public image and my name at this at that point, it's f you uh, too professionally." So, I mean, after a few days, the Buccaneers. So, basically, Lily, that's what he's saying. But Bruce Aarons, which I did a video, only said that Antonio Brown was crying about. Antonio Brown was crying about targets. Okay. And at halftime, he said the players handled that. Then it fell over to the season. So, simple as that. It's as simple as that, bro. So, um, I mean, it is what it is, man. You hope he get his help. Now, do I think he'll be back in the league? I'm going to say no. If he was 28, 27, 26, he'd probably get another chance. But you threw owners under the bus. You got a second league. He threw, you know, uh, he wore his welcome with some of the biggest franchises out there. New England, the Raiders, you know what I'm saying, Pittsburgh. So he he, he did this to himself, man. And down the line, it's going to be hard not to feel sorry for a guy if he don't play this the right way. So he said he still wants to play, but I don't envision that happening. Um, that's just my opinion. I don't envision him still playing in this league um, after that, but um, especially because he's so old, he still can contribute. But, I mean, that's on him. He got to figure this this situation out, man. And, you know, he did it to himself. It was, it was a self-inflicted wound. It was a self-inflicted when he did this to himself, bro. And you hate and you hate to see this, bro. You hate to see this because the talent is the talent is there, bro. The talent is here. The talent is there, man. It's just like I said before, his parents kicked him out the house. You know, kicked him out the house. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. His father spoke out against him. His stepfather and mother kicked him out the house. Man, shit, it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. So, yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you have a business question, inquire, response to your video request, all my social media links in the description. Twitter is the fastest way. And Facebook and Instagram. She got the NFL playlist for more videos like this. Want to financially support the channel? Cash app CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the financial donations. Best way to donate. Cash app CJ Good 313. Venmo, I mean, excuse me, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. 
comment, that subscribe button, the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance of notification you go live. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you want to reach out for business question, call, response, review your question, chop it up. Appreciate the love.